Let's take a look at the lesson price lists with multiplication. It says, how much money does Gabriel need to buy five roses and four fish? Well, I can see that the roses cost $2.80 and that the fish cost $1.60. If he wants to buy five roses, we're going to need to multiply $2.80 by five. And if he wants to buy four fish, we need to multiply $1.60 by four. So let's start with the roses. $2.80 times five. Five times zero is zero. Five times eight is 40. Five times two is 10 plus our four more. It's 14. And then we count how many spaces back our decimal point goes. One, two. So one, two. Fourteen dollars. That's for the roses. Now let's find for the fish. One dollar sixty cents times four. Four times zero is zero. Four times six is twenty-four. Four times one is four. And we add the two more, which is six. And then we count back one, two, one, two. So two spaces back for our decimal point. All right, now we know Gabriel needed $14 for the roses and $6.40 for the fish. So let's add those together to find out how much he needs total. $14 and then careful to line up the correct place values, $6.40. I'm going to add those together. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus four is four. Drop down our decimal point, six and four, so four plus six is 10. One plus one is two, twenty dollars and 40 cents. So our answer is twenty dollars and 40 cents. Next, they said, how much money does Jack need to buy five roses and five cupcakes? So five roses and five cupcakes. So if we have two dollars and 70 cents times five, zero, 35, five times two is 10, 11, 12, 13. So that is $13.50 for the roses. And then the cupcakes, if it's $4.80 times five, five times zero is zero, five times eight is 40, five times four is 20 plus four, so 24. $24. So how much does he need? Let's see, $13.50 plus 24. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus zero is five. We dropped down our decimal point. Three plus four is seven and one plus two is three. So $37.50. How much money does William need to buy four pies and five basketballs? So pies are $2.70 and basketballs are $4.90. So if he wants four pies, let's do that first. $2.70 times four. Four times zero is zero. Four times seven is 28. So our eight goes down here and our two goes up by the dollars. Four times two is eight plus two more is 10. So $10.80 for the pies. Now the basketballs, $4.90 times five. Five times zero is zero. Five times nine is 45. Five times four is 20, plus four more is 24, $24.50. So now let's add those together, $10.80 plus $24.50. Zero plus zero, eight plus five is 13, one plus four is five, and one plus two is three. $35.30. How much money does Connor need to buy two fish and two cupcakes? 
Well, if fish are 190 and cupcakes are 230, all right, so let's do the fish first. Instead of multiplying by two, we could also do $1.90 plus $1.90 if we wanted to, but let's multiply. Two times zero is zero. Two times nine is 18. Two times one is two plus one more, which is three, $3.80. And now the cupcakes. Oops, there we go. Cupcakes is $2.30 times two, because he wants two of them. Two times zero is zero. Two times three is six. Two times two is four. So $4.60 plus $3.80. Let's add those together. Zero plus zero is zero. Eight plus six is 14. One plus three plus four is eight. So eight dollars and forty cents. How much money does Maya need to buy three balls and two crayons? Well, the ball costs four fifty and the crayons cost three twenty. So let's start with the balls. Three balls. So four fifty times three. Three times zero is zero. Three times five is fifteen. Three times four is twelve. Plus one more is thirteen. So thirteen dollars fifty cents. And then the crayons are three dollars and twenty cents each. So three dollars twenty cents times two. Two times zero is zero. Two times two is four. Two times three is six. So six dollars and forty cents. So let's add those together. Thirteen fifty plus six forty. Zero plus zero is zero. Five plus four is nine. Drop down our decimal point. Three plus six is nine, and one plus zero is one. So nineteen dollars and ninety cents. How much money does Emily need to buy two apples and two roses? Apples are 240, roses are 110. So let's see. 240 times two. Two times zero is zero. Two times four is eight. Two times two is four, so 480. And then we have our roses. So 110 times two. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two. Two times one is two. So we have $4.80 plus $2.20. Eight dollars and 20 cents. Oops, there we go. Zero plus zero is zero. Eight plus two is 10. One plus four plus two is seven. Seven dollars. How much money does Matilda need to buy four plates and five balls? So the plates are 350 and the balls are 490. So let's start with the plates. 350 times four. Four times zero is zero. Four times five is 20. Four times three is 12 plus two more is 14. Now the five balls. So balls are 490 times five because they want five of them. Five times zero is zero. Five times nine is 45. Five times four is 20 plus four more, which is 24. So $14 plus 24.50. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus five is five. Decimal point. Four plus four is eight. One plus two is three. So thirty-eight dollars and fifty cents. How much money does Michaela need to buy five cupcakes and five basketballs? So basketballs are two dollars twenty cents. Multiply that by five. 
5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So that's $11. And the cupcakes are $2.70. So 2.70 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. So we have 11 plus 13.50. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 plus 1 is 2. So $24.50. It's right here. How much money does Alexander need to buy five cupcakes and three pens? So five cupcakes and three pens. So 280 times five. Five times zero is zero. Five times eight is 40. Five times two is 10 plus four is 14. Now the pens, one, 10 times three. Three times zero is zero, three times one is three, and three times one is three, so three dollars and thirty cents. So we have fourteen dollars plus three dollars and thirty cents. Zero plus zero is zero, zero plus three is three, four plus three is seven, one plus zero is one, so seventeen dollars and thirty cents right here. How much money does Madison need to buy two basketballs and two crayons? Here are basketballs and here are crayons. So two of each. So 370 times two, two times zero is zero, seven times two is 14, two times three is six plus one is seven. So seven dollars 40 cents for the crayons. The basketballs are 330 times two, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. So now we have $7.40 plus $6.60. 0 plus 0 is 0, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry the 1. 1 plus 7 plus 6 is 14. So $14 is the total. Fantastic work today, friends.